Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Corpus and today we're going to learn a little bit about the flute. So if you're interested in playing the flute, this will give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like. Okay, so first we're going to, I'm just going to review a few things with y'all. So the whole slide is pretty much going to be about what is the flute and some examples of flute playing and also the flute fa family there's different flutes from small flutes to big flutes that make a higher sound all the way to a lower sound and i will also be giving you a little brief history of the flute as well so first thing you got to know is the flute is part of the woodwind family so as you can see you have the clarinet the flute the oboe, the bassoon, and the saxophone as part of the woodwind family. Now, it's not on this slide, but just so you know, the woodwind family is what you see. The brass family is part of trumpet, trombone, tuba, euphonium, all of that jazz, okay? French horn, didn't forget you, don't worry. Um, but yeah, so this is, the flute is part of the woodwind family, okay? So how the flute makes a sound. First thing you gotta, a few things you gotta know, okay? You need to use your air, okay? You really, really make sure that we're using air here at Paredes Middle School. We have a few rules about air, but we'll get into that later once you're part of our band program officially, okay? The next thing is you need to direct your air by using your lips, which we call embouchure. It's a French word that we use. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're using your lips, you're shaping your lips, appropriately for the air to come out. So, and you also wanna make sure that your aperture, which is the sen the hole right here, that your lips make when they're pushed together, um, you wanna make sure that all of that is set, okay? So, we'll go into that later as well. Now, one thing, <laughs> you can't really see it because of my, myself, but I'll move this over here on this side. <clears throat> okay, so the embouchure. It's just a definition here. So it's just the French meaning of your mouth or the shape that we make as a musician. That's what embouchure is. Wrong button again. This qualifies even a referee's whistle as a flute. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before I played this is this video is just a little bit of how the flute works, okay? So, well, I'll go ahead and continue the video for you guys. In all these instruments, one thing is common. A stream of air is passed across an opening and directed onto the sharp edge on the other side. This splits the airstream, causing some of it to enter the flute. Interestingly, the airstream doesn't split nicely in half, but it oscillates, sometimes going in and sometimes going out. The oscillating airstream within the flute sets up a standing wave, causing resonance at a frequency dictated by the length of the air column. Yeah, so just the last part of that video, just so you all know, the resonance there is that he's talking about is the vibrations that your air will make. Okay, so as you can see, some of your air goes in, some of your air is going to go out. So we have to make sure that we're taking a big, full breath, okay? Let's go on to the next one. <clears throat> so next, we're going to be hearing some professional flute playing, okay? So these are some of my favorite flute players. I'm sure there's so many out there. I could put them all in one slide. I mean, I couldn't put them all in one slide, so here's just a few, okay? I hope you enjoy. First, we're gonna listen to Emmanuel Paut. He's playing a piece by WC. Okay, so as you can hear, the flute can definitely play at different ranges. Um, and there's going to be another example where you can actually hear more. This next p 
piece is by actually this food player i wasn't familiar with her but i do like her sound and i hope you enjoy her sound as well Yes, so I personally play the flute as well, not professionally. My main instrument, as you can see from my picture, is the clarinet. So that the clarinet is my primary instrument. Flute is my secondary instrument, and it's been very, very fun to play. Sometimes I play it more than my clarinet, but it's definitely fun. So let's go ahead and move on, shall we? So the flute family. So the flute that you're going to be playing is in the key of C, which is why they call it the C flute. So you'll get into more of this definition stuff later on. But just in case you hear like, well, what kind of flute do you want to play? Like just say C flute or you could just say the flute. They'll know what you're talking about. OK, um, so the flute that you just saw in the videos are the flutes that you're going to be playing here at your school. OK with us. So we start our beginners off with those particular flutes, okay? Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to listen to a few examples of different types of flutes, starting with the piccolo, which is the smallest one, okay? Here we have a little duet with, uh, with two professional flute players. One of them I know her personally from my UT college professor's wife, Miss Jennifer Gunn. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty fun piece. Okay, and there it was. It was really cute. I hope you get to listen to it on YouTube as well. And Emmanuel pulled again. Yeah, as you can see, you can play different speeds, you can play at different pitches. It can be pretty impressive, okay? So let's move on to the next one. Now here we're beginning to learn a little bit about the alto flute. So, oh, I'm so sorry, before we move on. So we had the piccolo, which was a small little flute that the two girls were playing, two, uh, I guess, women were playing. And then we had the flute, which Emmanuel Paulud was playing, the fast piece. Up next, we have the alto flute. Now, this one, I really want you to pay attention to the pitch, okay? Let's listen to it. And that was a fun little piece as well. I'm sure you, some of you have already recognized it, probably even danced a little bit to it. But yeah, so the first one that you heard, the small piccolo and the alto flute, we do not play here yet. At, oh, we won't play it here at, at our middle school, but you'll eventually play it down the line, okay? In your future, future, future. So if that makes any sense. But yeah, so <laughs> um, again, the only flute that we offer here is the 
actual C flute, okay? Now, there's one more, and this one's gonna sound really, really cool. I personally like the tone. I like dark, low tones. So I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Yeah, so that was the bass flute. So there are several other, well not several other, but there are a few other flutes that I didn't put on here uh, for the sake of time. But um, if you're interested in flute, you know, just definitely dive in. You can YouTube as many videos as you want. Um, there's a lot of listening resources out there on YouTube, just on YouTube, and there's so many great things. So dive into it. Let's see what's up next. So up next we have a little video with a brief history of the flute and let's go ahead and take a listen at this. Before I push play, I do want to make it very clear that the flute is an instrument that originated in China. There could be a lot of debate in that, but that's okay. Um, but the reason why I say that is because these instruments, you know, they're from all over the place if you really think about it. And they've been made with many different materials um, such as bones. So uh, yeah, I mean, the, the flute has gone back. It's hard to say the history of the flute because there's so much history. But enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and watch the video, shall we? The flute as we know it has only been around since the 1800s. When Theobald Bohm's Sundlunga flute marched on the scene in 1847, Richard Wagner famously yelled out, get those cannons out of my orchestra. <laughs> But the flute ancestry goes way farther than the 1800s, almost 43,000 years ago in northwestern Slovenia. This flute was made out of cave bear's femur, which Neanderthals hunted. It's only estimated to be this old, but many archaeologists suggest it could be double that amount. Now a curator at the Slovenian National Museum had a replica made and had Lubin Dimokorski play it. You can check that out in the link in the description below. And wouldn't you know it, it could play whole and half tones of a diatonic scale. Lunin was able to play selections of Beethoven, Verdi, Dvorak, and more. Yeah, so there's definitely, <clears throat> I'm loading there, there's definitely a lot of history, a lot of great history about the flute. So yeah, a really cool video that I found, but again, find what you want to know, okay? Let's move on. Oh, my computer does not like me, but it's fine. So this brings us to the end of our little discussion about the flute. I hope that you have enough insights to get you interested in playing the flute. Um, just so you know, if you do, I will be your teacher and I would be more than honored to teach you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely email us, email the directors. We have Mr. Heffler, who is the head of our band department. And there's myself, Mr. Corpus, and there's Mrs. English as well. Here are our emails. Feel free to reach us anytime if you have any questions or anything at all. Don't be shy and do not be afraid. We are here for you and we have your back. Okay? So, thank you for joining me and I will see you in band class. <laughs>